Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, wherever we stand in the midst of life, we thank you for the, the journey that got us here, the friends that have supported us, the challenges we had to face. And Lord, help us in today, in whatever lies before us, in the world around us, in those that we are called to serve and care for, and those that you have instilled in, in a permanent place in our lives as those that we can turn to and those who depend on us. Lord, we, we pray for the situation of our life, that it will be a place, a reality of praise, that people will know that we love and praise you in all we say and do. And Lord, we ask for your blessing upon us and our families, upon our communities, upon our nations. Lord, bless this world and help us to do a better job of watching over it. Lord, forgive us for our misunderstandings, misuse, and help our ignorance inspire our understanding in what is good and right and true in life that in everything we are and everything we have and everything we say and do we will honor glorify and praise you lord we pray for our friends and neighbors those in trouble those going through trying times those who have become very isolated and those that we are called to to go out to seek to find that we may share and grow your kingdom all this in christ jesus name we pray amen you can Hear the ruckus behind me of all everyone enjoying one of our last big snowstorms, and um, in, in the in the midst of what is, is an edge of calm, we turn to the word of the psalm, Psalm 55, verse 18. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth of old, because they have no changes. Therefore. They fear not God. There are people in our lives who, as much as we will try to inspire and share and tell the good news in Jesus Christ, as we share our faith, live out our faith before them, they're not going to get it. And they're going to stand against us. And for all intents and purposes, a lot of people would call them our enemies, but all the same, we can rest in the assurance knowing that God has delivered us and we can still pray for them. We can still know that they are there, that they are facing their, those, their challenges, their troubles, their struggles, their afflictions. Not without God, but without hope in God, without faith in God. That's a very hard way to go through life. That's a very empty way. That's a very limited way to see life. And as much as we can sometimes feel empowered to criticize, we are empowered to discern, to recognize, and then to pray. And to witness a little harder, to be a little more open, to not force ourselves to be strong, but allow for the vulnerability that helped us come to faith and hope in God. And to let that be what we share with others. As much as the, the psalmist is celebrating that he is saved from the hardships of those who lack faith. The fact of the matter is, the psalmist also, in rejoicing in the Lord, knows that the Lord loves all those that he invites under his covenant. God bless you in the covenant of peace and love that we share in Jesus Christ. Amen.